This video is for chapter 2.4, graphical misrepresentations of data. It's also related uh, indirectly to quiz number uh, one ideas, um, uh, potentially. So um, you have your note sheets out. I'm going to use the textbook since these come right directly from the textbook. You can make your own notes there if you want. Have those out. Um, but we talk about sometimes graphs tell different graphs tell stories, and so we're interested in is making sure it tells an accurate story. But it's very possible that graphs can mislead or be deceptive and the common misrepresentations whether intentional or unintentional um, regard with how um, the, the labeling of the axes what we call the tick marks how it's incremented or the scales um, there is no zero point in the y-axis so that's what we're looking at so i'm use the book to kind of introduce those ideas um, and so looking at the first example here um, Looking at the first example here, you could also have, uh, I forgot to tell you, when you look in your textbook, you can also use the textbook to uh, do videos and things like that for you too. But looking at this first one here, uh, what could be the issue here? Um, let's look for uh, Mr. Burglars in, uh, in Minneapolis, July and August, 20%, all of the months, 8%. Uh, what could be the issues here? This is a sideways bar graph. And so look for characteristics that may mislead areas, such as inconsistent scales or poorly defined categories. And so this one's a little bit misleading, or maybe not, but um, in terms of um, how the categories are defined, this is just two months from July to August, and these are all the other months. And so what they're trying to show um, in that case there that, um, uh, so, and, Again, there's a comparison between these, but there's something missing here in that this is 20% and this is 8%. So you would think uh, if July Ju uh, July and August is 20%, the leftover is 80%. So there's something missing there. Um, and so you want to uh, make sure you can see how that's a misleading graph, that this should be 80% all the other months, not 8%. Um, and so uh, just be mindful of... Um, or again, uh, be mindful of what's what's kind of being being told here in the in that graph there. Um, the next example, looking at that, and so if uh, a better way to look at that would be, um, you can see eight and eight and uh, you can see the graph here then represents all the months, and so this is a better representation. Um, looking at another bar graph here. Um, What's misleading here, there's no zero here. We need to find any characters that may, that may mislead a reader, such as manipulation of the vertical scale. And so you can see this looks like it's way bigger, but then when you actually put the zero, it's the same there. And so you want to be mindful of that. And again, you want to I'm not going to read the solution, but you would want to read that. We had another example, um, example three. Let me see where we are now. We did those there. Um, example three here. Again, you see this idea there's no zero in there. Let's see what the, the book says here. Look at the characteristics that may be such as manipulation of the vertical axis. Again, no zero there. If you add a zero in there, potentially the story could be, be different. And so it might tell a different story. So again, be careful of the manipulation of the, of the axis here, especially with this time series graph. Like it says here, it is not necessarily done intentionally to confuse or mislead the reader. Often the main purpose in graphs is to discover a trend. So I can see some trend here, but again, the, um, should, the author should indicate clearly the graph does not uh, begin at zero. Or some symbol which you can acknowledge there. And so this is, again, maybe a more accurate representation based off of percents there. So look at that there. And then there's one more example. Again, we can go so many examples. Um, you look here, and here you have the scales are off here. There's no zero, but it's a percent. So this is 41, 17, 30. Um, they're not in proportion. They look like they're the same distance. This is 9, but this distance is 13. Compare the vertical scales each bar to see if they actually depict the given percentages. And so the bars don't match up. I link to 41, 30, and 17. There's something wrong with the heights of those bars. So that could be misleading also. And there's other ones. Like I said, if you open the ebook and you print, uh, click on these things, you get examples to try and you also get um, explanation in the video too. So if you do that. So 
Um, that would be it. I think I was just showing you if you clicked on that, you get a sample problem that you could practice to see what's happening here um, if you're looking at that. But I guess that would be it for now. Thank you.